<coughs> Get all choked up just thinking about Faith Talk TV. <coughs> <coughs> Faith Talk TV, where God gets all the glory. Faith Talk TV, where God gets all the glory. <laughs> Even lights, bow in reverence. Get together, and um, so I have a couple of things up my sleeve for Phyllis. Ooh. But um, <laughs> up your sleeve? <laughs> well, not a whole lot, but I don't have a sleeve. Yeah, right. <laughs> so, anyway, it's not yeah, the but Isn't it interesting how the Holy Spirit just connects the Word of God? I mean, yeah. out of all the chapters in the Bible and all the verses, they both tie in perfectly as to how God works in our lives. And the time that we had as she's digging to be kind of apart and, you know, not doing the, the taping. Oh boy, she knows how I love hats. God has been doing a work in us. Yeah, and right. we are now truly under the construction. construction. Yeah. yeah. So these, I don't know if these are officially OSHA approved. I doubt. But they're officially Kim color coded. These are <laughs> hot pink in case your screen isn't tuned well, into the right color. And, um, so does mine not have an well, it adjuster? Does. I just, yeah, you, you don't really need one. I, mine just goes down like this. <laughs> so. oh, here, I couldn't get them in, but um, oh, gosh. we have a new, you can check back, we have a new um, theme. You know, we always have a story, right? I have no Phyllis? idea how these go in. Don't worry about these it. go in the back. Um, but <laughs> don't worry about it. That's right. She doesn't. It doesn't matter. But we're going to be using those coming up in some future episodes and a I'm new. I'm so excited. I know, and a new ad, and um, that goes along with Philippians. Well, and I hope that's an encouraging word to everyone who's listening. That we are under construction, definitely. Yeah, right? we have been and always will be. And God expects that from us. That He knows we're not perfect, but He gives us the model of Jesus to identify with and to try to continually be shaped and molded into his likeness. And I think that's a great theme. Isn't it? Because um, we should never be discouraged, as the Second Corinthians verse said. Never get discouraged or frustrated. Just continually wake up. It's a new start in the morning and put it at the feet of the Lord and ask for his strength and his encouragement. And that's what I do. Right. I, sometimes I do it a couple times a day. Right. So anyways, with Philippians, just a little bit background on this mm -hmm. here, it talks about, um, I'll just start at Philippians 1, it talks mm -hmm. about thanksgiving and prayer. And I thank God every time I remember you in all my prayers for all of you. I always pray with joy because of the partnership in the gospel from the first day until now, being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. And I loved the notes in here, it says, uh, do you sometimes feel as though you aren't making progress in your <laughs> spiritual life? When, when God starts a project, he completes it. As with Philippians, God will help you grow in grace until he has completed his work in your life. When you are discouraged, remember that God won't give up on you. His promise to finish the work he has begun. When you feel incomplete, unfinished, or distressed by your shortcomings, remember God's promise and provision. Don't let your present condition rob you of the joy knowing Christ or keeping you from cl growing closer to him. I just thought that was pretty mm -hmm. interesting. There's so much in there, well, in the notes about it. but Right. It was a, a very personal letter of thanksgiving that, that Paul wrote to the, um, the Philippian people and to uh, the church of Ephesus, in Ephesus. And it was just that, encouraging them as well, because they continued to support him and in all that he did. And so... You may not be out in Africa in the field, and you may not be in the inner city working in, in the ministries, but when you support the ministries with your funding and with prayer support in, in any way that you can, you, you become part of that ministry. And just as those people so, uh, were so dedicated to supp supporting Paul and what he was doing to, to share the gospel message, this is such a, a heartfelt, beautifully written mm -hmm. letter, right. and I love this. Um, and it, and one of the other verses in here that's very encourages, encouraging too is I can do. Well, Paul says I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite verses. And um, so whenever I'm feeling kind of weepy and and like oh, I can't do this, it's, nope, I can do all things. It's not through my own efforts, but it's through that of. 
what God does through us with his, the power of His Holy Spirit. So that gives me encouragement. I know it does you, Kim. Right. And I pray that it does to the person listening to this message right now. Yeah, well, that's yeah. what the Hidden the Notes had there said also, just about you are partnering with people when you help others who are in ministry right. or round of acts of kindness and spreading mm -hmm. the gospel message. So, right. And then the, Richard did give us this little tidbit um, in his blog on his site. Okay. Um, it says, Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all people, especially those who belong to the family of believers. And uh, I just, actually there's a gentleman I've been wanting us to do an interview with. Um, he's in a youth pastor in the area and they go out and do street ministry. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna, next, hopefully this next month we'll get a chance to talk to some of them, but they go down to the inner city and knock on doors and meet people on the street and share the gospel. And um, we'd love to maybe send Ben with him someday and talk, mm -hmm. have him come in here and share some of his story, but he had sent a message out today saying that he needed prayer and that he was really struggling in um, many areas and provision was one of them. And mm -hmm. all these people were sending him scripture about how Satan attacks and just to encourage him to press on today. So we mm -hmm. lift him up in a prayer and right. really he's doing fabulous work for the Lord. It's really exciting and I look forward to meeting him. Yeah, that's exciting. Yeah, so, I like that. Yeah. Many years ago, I, I shared that with you our church, and me personally, we were part of the um, the inner city street ministry, and it's a powerful way of um, recognizing the need to share the gospel with those who don't know the Lord. Mm -hmm. And to see someone come to know Christ and accept Christ is is a it's a huge blessing to be a part of that. But you know, we we went in, we came back out, and we went about our daily business for these men and women who truly dedicate their life to that. Um, I'm in, in awe of what they do well, and to they, be called to that. And certainly, you know, if we can pray for them, right. that would be great. Yeah. Well, and, I mean, and they're totally living on the ministry provision. Right. And um, so I just want to encourage them and encourage you to mm -hmm. sow a seed into other people's ministries right. as they come across your path. That happens for a reason. Mm -hmm. I mean, and when, in the local ministries like that, it's, it, we see it. We see every cent that's given, a hundred percent used to further the kingdom. Right. You know, oftentimes there's when you see a lot of TV ministries where they're asking for money, you, you're distanced from that, and you really don't know right, where, it where going? it's going. But these men and women, every penny of it, it's, it's just amazing how dedicated they are. Yeah. It's so exciting be to be, a, yeah, I look forward to meeting him. An exciting opportunity. Yeah, great. So so you do have lots of fun yeah, things to share. Yeah, a couple other things. Um, More, okay. Well, just, you know, we, as we were talking about our two-year anniversary, mm -hmm. um, earlier this year with my book coming out and then meeting Josh Turner. Mm -hmm. Well, the other night I was up, like I am often during the middle of the night, and guess who was on TV in the Josh middle of the night? Josh Turner. Yeah, he was on a concert. Am I good at guessing? Yeah. yeah. Well, and uh, <laughs> what did I bring along here? I was actually going to quiz you. You're going to quiz me? But I can't find it. Oh, well. Oh, it's in my other bag. I, was gonna I wish that our viewing audience could see what's behind <laughs> this table. We have a numerous amount of uh, so I was material gonna here. Ask her if she knew who this was. Josh Turner. So he um, he's he, actually coming he back. He gave you that shirt. No, I had to buy it. <laughs> um, he is coming back to Wisconsin sometime. Beaver Dam, I think hmm. in August. But the funny part about it was is um, how we just love a couple of his songs and. He's just kind of a down-to-earth gentleman, and he was doing the show on GAC, the Country Music Channel, and talking, mm -hmm. doing a concert, and kind of talking in between. And he had said, "There's a song he has called the Long Black Train,' mm -hmm. and that he wrote that song one evening. And um, then he said, "You just never know the impact any words or song can have." Mm -hmm. But a uh, lady had told him how she was going to commit suicide, mm. and she heard that song and decided to flush. The mall down the drain or whatever. The pills. Mm -hmm. And um, <laughs> not Josh, but the pills. <laughs> yeah, not not Josh, but the pills. Uh, but anyways, and he just talked about every time he does a concert, he knows that people come, and he is very mindful of the message that he sends. Mm. And he broke down talking about how he cares about the messages 
you know, mm -hmm. that he, in the people that he's singing to. And I thought that was really powerful and profound because, you know, we had no idea. We just, you know, knew he was saying, and people can say mm -hmm. it, say things about God, but do they really? So he was he was making this statement on a country music yeah. TV show? Mm-hmm. In the middle of before his songs. Well, you know